just cleaned my tank today so it's a, a tiny bit cloudy but here's my latest update I've had a massive explosion of catfish um, they didn't breed for the first year and then in the last year they've done nothing but breed I guess that's what you call it there's two of my biggest ones that's my spotted quarries I have three of those and I have lost count of how many of the green I think they're called emerald quarries I started out with three the two fem females and one male the males named tidbit and he does nothing but make babies and I've got tons of them and they're being really active tonight I've got all sizes there's a couple of tiny little fry in here somewhere kind of hard to spot there's old butter bean hanging out in the corner in their usual spot and there's a little Cory right there on the glass there's where I just scraped some eggs I'm really trying not to let them have any more see all, all sizes in there and there's another baby so anyway here's the latest update on Butterbean's tank I've got that little ramp over there. She doesn't use it anymore. It's the, the catfish hang out in there. I've got her piece of Mopani wood with lots of lovely moss growing on it. And here's her little, I don't know what you call that. That was her little cave when she was little. She doesn't go in there anymore either. It's full of catfish. And her plants are doing very nicely full of baby catfish yeah you can't see it very well from the top but there's there's a shot of her her live plants she's got a little um, the little basking you can't even see it from here there's a basking ramp back there the one that she uh, Tootsie had when she was a baby and I put a great big old rock up on top of it for Tootsie to come out on it gets nice and warm and it fits in nicely with the background and there's some plants in the corner and that's her spray bar I like it when it's quiet so it's, I don't have I have a uh, below the water and these catfish were really playing till I got the camera out there's one over there that's still being a little active but all of them were swimming back and forth a minute ago anyway there's her feeding ring she still likes to eat out of that and here's the wide shot I think it looks really nice and she seems to enjoy it oh now the fish are coming back out I was going to try to get a shot of all the different ages I have in here, but they're being shy. Anyway, there you go. That's the latest look of Butterbean's tank. I haven't really made her a, um, a nesting area or anything like that because she's still so small. Her shell is maybe, uh, I haven't really measured her, maybe two and a half, three inches now. 
So when she gets a little bit bigger, I'll be making her a little nesting area. Although Tootsie's got one in her tank and she never uses it, ever, ever. I put her up on there under the sun lamp to try to get her used to it. And sometimes she'll sit up there for a few minutes and sun herself and then she jumps down. So uh, I'm not in any hurry to make one for Butterbean. I have all the, I, I think I actually have it made. I just haven't put it in there. So uh, I'll give her probably another year and then I'll work on that. Here are the little goobers playing in the corner. I was trying to find that little tiny fry. It was over here. It likes to eat that crud off of the uh, moss. It keeps it nice and clean. Usually. It didn't... Actually, when I cleaned the tank, when I started the filter back up, all that crud came out and stuck to the, to the moss. And then the little baby goes in and eats it there's one of the babies but that's not the tiniest one and here is my helper <laughs> she loves to sit there and watch the fish in the corner that's my Josie all right there you go that's the update for now